Hey guys, today I'm gonna to introduce you to our POE IPC 6001 kits. So these are our long range POE over coax uh, kits where you can power your cameras and reutilize the existing cabling. So no longer do you have to pull out your cabling, run your cabling, use what's already there. So a bit of a rundown between these. Um, this is our transmitter. So the transmitter actually is, draws probably typically about three watts. Um, in dimensions, it's 90 by 42 by 22. Um, and it has an operating temperature of zero to 60 degrees. If we go over to our receiver, uh, our receiver typically draws about 2.7 watts itself uh, and is 80 by 42 by 22, and it has an operating range of minus 10 to 60. So you can see this is quite a lot smaller for you guys to put into your housings and be able to still use that existing cabling. Um, transmission speeds, uh, 10 100 on both. Uh, and if you really wanted to, you could use this as a bit of a, a backbone as well. So if you're using this purely as a backbone, you could probably go about 900 meters. If you're trying to go and use this and power, say about a 4.5 watt device, um, whether you're using a 60 watt power supply, 30 watt PoE switch, or even a 15.4 watt PoE switch, which is all using the, the IEEE standard, you could probably go uh, you know, 600 meters is 4.5 or 520 meters if it's like a six watt device. If you're trying to go eight watts uh, as a power device, you'd probably be getting around close to about 428 meters on uh, a 60 watt power supply and a 30 watt PoE switch. So yeah, pretty cool. The other thing is which it's really great about these is that the, the transmitters themselves can actually be rack mountable. So uh, you can have up to 16 of these transmitters to, to save you in that rack space. You don't have these flowing about and it also allows you to build them as you go. So pretty cool device. Uh, we'll go through a bit of an unboxing and a bit more demonstration as to how these products actually work. So here we have our POE IPC 6001A kit. Uh, this is a one channel kit of our long range P over coax, which comes with a 60 watt power adapter. So let's see what's in the box. So up here, you'll see we get a insulation guide. So this insulation guide will tell you what's inside your kit, um, how to connect them up, depending on the kit you've got. Um, you've also got some insulation steps, a transmission distance table, and some troubleshooting uh, tips if you do run out of trouble. Uh, you shouldn't really run out of trouble with this kit as it's a simple plug and play, um, straightforward. So here we have an IC cable. So IC cable is about one and a half meters long, which will be used to plug into our 60 watt, 48 volt power supply. Uh, power supply is actually by Meanwell, um, and it's also got a DC jack on this side, which will plug into your transmitter. So now we'll just open our transmitter. So that's our transmitter here. Uh, you can see here it's marked network side. Uh, so we know this is gonna either go towards our PoE switch or our NVR. Uh, we've got a little dust cap protecting the, the BNC. And this is actually where uh, your power supply 60 watt will get plugged into. On the other side here, we've got our network port. So this is where you'll plug into your PoE switch. Uh, we've also got a couple of LED indicators here, uh, green and amber, to show us if PoE is being applied uh, or if the units have actually been synced together. So this is the receiver. Uh, you can see here, this one will say camera side, so you'll know this will go onto the uh, camera side end, uh, same thing, a little dust cap protection. Got your BNC, which your coax will go into, and the network port where your camera will get plugged into. Same thing, got a couple of LED indicators, exactly the same as the transmitter. If you look on the other side here, we've got a DC jack. So this DC jack can actually apply, or you can actually pump in 48 to 56 volts. Um, that's for some power hungry cameras if you need additional power because you just can't get that quite through um, over the coax when you're transmitting that through. So yeah, so that's the kit. So just gonna give a bit of a quick demonstration as to how the POE IPC 6001 kits actually work. 
So this little test that we've got set up here, um, we've got 300 metres of RG59 coax uh, and 100 metres of Cat5. We're going to try and do a side-by-side -side comparison through a ping test and actually show you the picture quality. And you actually see the difference between, you know, is there a lag between going through this cable uh, over coax or just going straight over uh, your normal Cat5, Cat6. So the way it's set up, uh, we've got our transmitter. So in this case here, our transmitter is, the RJ45 is connected to a PoE switch. So this particular PoE switch is uh, 30 watts per port. Uh, we could have used our in 60 watt injector uh, with our IC, but for the case of this and what we're trying to power, it wasn't necessary. So in this case here, we could have gone uh, with 30 watts, you know, about 500 meters of coax just on its own to power this camera. So we've got the transmitter connected to the PoE switch. We've got our other end BNC, which is connected through 300 meters of coax. And then it comes on the other end of that coax is going into our receiver. Uh, and then out of the RJ45, we're going through over another 100 meters of Cat5 into our six megapixel, 2.8 mil, uh, lens IP camera. So I'll just quickly show you over here, um, if we just do a ping test, so we will ping this camera. So you'll see here that we're actually starting to ping it and you can actually see how many milliseconds uh, we're getting through. So like I said, this is going over 300 meters of coax and then onto 100 meters of Cat5. Can you see the rates there are quite low, um, which is which is brilliant. So if we look at this on our switch, it's actually telling us that this combined setup, uh, so from the switch powering the transmitter, receiver, and the camera, uh, it's drawing about 9 to 9.2 watts currently at present. So we'll just jump in now to see picture quality and seeing how it is. So I'll just wave my hand, and there you go. You can see it's like instantaneous. It's like it's just almost connected directly on Cat5. So what I'll do now is we'll break this down, pull it apart, and we'll just jump straight onto Cat5, and we'll do that comparison test and see how we go. So we're back. So we've got rid of the coax converters, and now we're just running our camera directly over 100 meters of Cat5. So we'll have a look now um, at what the ping rates are. So there you can see, um, before we we're probably getting around about one millisecond, um, as far as time, but now we're getting less than one millisecond. So that's over 100 meters of Cat5. So it is slightly less, but let's, can you actually see the difference? So we'll do our little wave test. Yeah, so there you go. You can actually hardly see the difference between the two. And like I said before, we're going over 100 meters of uh, Cat5 and then 300 meters of coax. So it's quite substantial distance compared to just 100 meters. And we're seeing little to no effect there as far as picture quality and picture signal. So yeah, so that's the difference between the two. Um, as you can see, there's hardly anything there. So here we have one of our receivers. Uh, it's actually going into a housing uh, from Hikvision, which is a DS-1280ZJ-DM8. Um, this particular housing is for the, the turret style cameras that you see here. Um, but you can see that it fits nicely inside. You've got your little patch cable connected up to your camera pigtail. Um, you can still fit all this cabling inside that housing and allow you to sit the camera on top and hide that receiver away so it's all nice and waterproof and sealed. 